Well, hey there everyone. How are you all doing today? I am the Perpetual Noob and it is it is time for some Dark Souls 2. The long wait is finally over. I am I am beyond excited for this. Um I, I'm just I'm so pumped. I can't believe it's finally here. And you know, it's that kind of odd feeling where you get you you get so much anticipation for something and then you finally get there and you kind of forget what you're supposed to do. Um so anyways, this is going to be a completely blind run. Uh I have I only got to try the closed beta test for a couple hours. That's my only exposure to Dark Souls 2. Uh and like I did on my Twitter uh, which is Perpetual Noob 3, shameless plug right there. But like I did on my Twitter, I'm going to say here too, thank you to everyone that has been uh, kind of keeping the spoilers down, hiding spoilers, really trying to uh, respect people who didn't want to have anything ruined for them for this game. So thank you to all of you in the Dark Souls community and the Dark Souls 2 community that have been doing that. Um, so yeah, you guys all have heard me talking for long enough. Let's get to this. All right, we are like I said, this is this is brand new. I haven't done anything yet. So, we're just going to uh I guess we're just going to go through the terms and conditions, blah 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 blah. Blah blah blah. Blah blah. More lots and lots of blah blahs. Uh yep, I definitely accept this cuz if I don't, I don't get to play. And I really want to play. Oh yeah, here we go. Dark Souls 2 server maintenance. What is that? Huh. March 13th, which is today. Yes, sadly, I am starting it a bit a bit late. Wait, is it? No, today's the 12th. Oh, oh, but I see. Okay, that's when all the times. Okay, never mind. I get it. I'm, I'm smart. S M A. Wait, I'm supposed to spell that wrong to prove my. Oh wow. Okay. What is this information? Oh, that's that. Okay. Look at this. Here we go. New game. Oh, blood. Yeah, always on. Um. Let's see. Brightness. Okay. I think that's good for now. The HUD will always be on. And subtitles, love subtitles being on. Blood, hell yeah! On, off, or set to mild. Huh. Does that mean like it turns green or something? Camera flip. Oh my gosh, look at all these settings. Kinda. Um, I, I don't care about vibration. Camera auto adjust. Uh, no, turn that off. I don't want the camera to start doing crazy things. It'll be, it'll be new Londo all over again. Camera, no, why? And then you fall off, you know, a ledge in the water and you die. Um, cinematic effects? Sure, go nuts. Um, auto acquire? No. Um, automatically target an enemy? I suppose? Sure, why not? Wait, voice chat? Ooh, cross-region stuff. Well, that's cool that I can actually adjust that. Very nifty. But voice chat? No! What can I do with... Oops. Oh, wow, I hit the button. I meant to look at jump controls. Ha <laughs> ha! Whoops. Oh, well. Whatever. I'll get used to it. I at least took care of the other things I wanted to. Perhaps you've seen it. Maybe in a dream. A murky forgotten land a place where souls may mend your ailing mind
you will lose everything once branded the symbol of the curse an augur of darkness your past your future your very light None will have meaning, and you won't even care. By then, you'll be something other than human. A thing that feeds on souls, a hollow. Long ago, in a walled-off land far to the north, a great king built a great kingdom. I believe they called it Drang Lake. Perhaps you're familiar. No, how could you be? But one day, you will stand before its decrepit gate without really knowing why. drawn to a flame. Your wings will burn in anguish. Time after time. For that is your fate. The fate of the cursed. Okay, so who is uh, more hyped about this game now? Because, uh, raise your hands, because that would be me. Okay, cool. Apologize for that uh, long pause, but I was just kind of assuming that there was going to be more cutscene-ish stuff happening. Wow, that was uh, that was quite an interesting opening. Huh. I wonder what that what that portal was. You know, that swirling vortex, that whirlpool in the water. What were those, you know, I saw those ghosts flying out and I thought, oh god, it's new Londo all over again, no. There was that, there was all those little bugs. I don't quite understand, you know, 
Personally, if I saw a bug, or I should say a tree covered in lightning bugs in such a location, I wouldn't want those bugs to touch me. I'd assume they were going to kill me. I wouldn't be like, oh, come here, land on my hand. It's okay. No, that's insane. Okay, so that's how running and jumping works. Um, yeah. I don't think so. Okay, well that grass is good and noisy. Let's see if I can do something about that. Game options. Fantastic. Let's cut that just a bit. What are these jump controls? Does circle mean... Oh, yay! It's like Dark Souls. Okay. That was one thing that drove me nuts during the closed beta, is that L3, you know, jump. I was... I really had trouble with it. But now it's more like Dark Souls. I'll be fine. Uh, yeah, I wonder who... I wonder who the old woman was. You know, how and how she's going to be affecting the plot, if at all, or if she just was. Hey, we want to have a narrator for, you know, the opening scenes to kind of tell a little bit of the story. You know, and I do like subtitles because now I know how to spell Drang Lick. Lake. Drang Lick. That place to where we are probably going. And yeah, I am kind of just wandering around right now. I'm um, trying to get a feel for... Oh, sorry, getting into the grass there. Really getting into the weeds, as it were. Oh, ha, ha, oh, ha. Okay, let's start looking at some equipment here. What am I carrying? No, do I have weapons? No weapons. What is this? This is... Imported hood. Hemp hood that fully covers the face. Awesome. Provides protection from the elements and little more. The cursed souls who wander the lands have a strange way of ending up here, as if drawn from afar by some force. You know, that was something kind of cool too with that whole cutscene. They were kind of, you know, explaining that they kind of covered the whole multiple playthroughs type thing with, you know, saying that like a moth of the flame, you'll be drawn here time after time. And it's like, well, why yes, yes I would. Imported tunic. A traveler's tunic won't provide much in the way of protection. And, of course, the cursed souls who wander the lands, so on, so on, so forth. Oh, yeah, what about that dark sign? Pretty cool. It's like this, some, like, mini abyss portal. That's at least what I'm taking the, the portal to be, that in the water kind of like a, a way to, you know, a way to, to the abyss. I imagine it's going to be back in this game. Traveler's manchets. Manchets? Yes. Something like that. Won't provide much in the way of protection. Man, why was this guy wearing all this stuff then? Traveler's trousers. Won't provide much in the way of protection. I do love how everything is imported. Kind of doesn't, I don't know why. Belt slot four five. Oh, these are items. I was starting to think like, wait, why do I have you know twelve? Why can I wear twelve belts? Arrows one, arrows two, bolts two, bolts one. Left weapon three two one. Right weapon one two three. Okay, cool. Ring 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 ring. Wow. So I can actually wear four rings. Wow. Okay, no rings, but wow, that's pretty cool. Inventory. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, head, chest, hands, feet, rings, nothing, 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 nothing. Dark sign. Lose souls and return to last bonfire used. Dark sign and a cursed mark. The dark sign induces death, returning the player to the last bonfire rested at at the cost of all souls held. 
Do what you must to gather the pieces, scraping them into some semblance of a whole before the will to do so fades. Huh, yeah, essentially, uh, assemble as many souls as you can, collect as many as you can before you go hollow. Very nifty. Black separation crystal. A symbol of farewells that has been passed down since time immemorial. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Especially with the way time gets all convoluted in, in this world. As long as it's, I, I believe this is supposed to be in the same grand globe as Lordran, and in Lordran, time was kind of fluid and goofy. It's the only way you're able to work with. That's the only way they could describe phantoms and invasions and such. The crystal sends phantoms back to their homes or sends you back to yours. Whether ending in hope or despair, encounters are valuable experiences. Beware fickle use of this item. And a bone of order restores the link to other worlds. It's an online play item. You will be punished for fleeing from other worlds by disconnecting unjustly. However, this charm will disperse the ire directed at you. But sins are not easily buried, and there's no telling if you will be let off so easily next time. Each encounter in life is a precious turn of fate, and fate will not be cheated. Is this like an item that punishes you for... Intentionally? Oh my god, what's that? What was that? Is anybody else? Okay, maybe I didn't see a creature. I thought I saw some sort of dog thing run by. Oh my god, I did. Uh, what is that? And am I meant to, and am I supposed to kill it? I don't know. I think maybe I'm supposed to, oh boy. There's a group of them. They're kind of all over the place. Okay. I don't think I'm supposed to kill these things, or attempt to. I'm guessing there's a swarm all over me and beat my face in. Where are they? Are they they're monkey type things? I don't know. Um, I guess during a little bit of this quiet time, as I'm still wandering through all this, wow, this grass is really tall. Somebody needs to get the lawnmower in here. What the heck? It's really letting this place go. Probably go this way, but I ooh something over there. Uh, but as I'm kind of just wandering around, yeah, I'll get to that little item right there shortly. Uh, format for this is gonna be uh, just straight playthrough. Uh, again, no idea what's going on. Will do my best to not completely noob this up, as I have been in my uh, my other playthroughs. Ooh, a rusted coin. How wonderful. Let's take a look at what that is. Temporarily boosts luck. An old rusted coin. Crushing the coin temporarily boosts luck. This rusted coin gives you that little extra bit of luck, making items and the like easier to find. The coin is engraved with the image of a god that was worshipped in ancient times, but no one knows its true origin. Hmm. Trying to tell... I cannot tell. I think that's a body with a shield and wings, but I cannot discern anything else from that picture, from that very small picture. So anyways, the format for this is just going to be me playing and talking and fumbling through here as best as I can. Um, I'm going to try to keep each episode to about an hour. What happens if I, can I punch this? Well, I can attempt to punch it. I am hitting it. Wow, look at that left, right, left combo. Is Was that a parry? I th oh, yeah, I think that is. And then there's my, like, right hook. Bam! I'm clearly not doing anything that long. So I will try to keep episodes to about an hour. And uh, it's just going to be, uh, <laughs> main reason for that though is I just don't want to know how large, you know, a, a, 
eight hour file would be. I don't think I'm gonna be playing straight for eight hours right now. I do need to sleep at some point. I know it's very sad that I am human in that way. But I will uh I will try to keep these to a reasonable length of about an hour and uh but I will probably just be a uh, ooh a secret area. Probably not really so hey, those are big foot oh those are paw prints. Oh crud, do I wanna follow those or do I wanna go to where there is light? Decisions. Not really. We're going to try to cross this bridge. Hopefully find Huh, a house. Well, this is nifty. As long as whoever's in this house doesn't want to eat me for dinner. But yeah, that's gonna be it. Uh hour long episodes. I if if those end up being too long, you know, if you if you guys would rather see or have shorter episodes, I I will do what I can. Uh, wait, can I not climb this? Apparently not. Because I understand that, you know, trying to watch an hours, an hour long episode, yeah, that can be, well, <laughs> literally time consuming. But uh, for now, yeah, it's probably going to be about that kind of length of time for each episode, especially because this game is going to be essentially an open world. It's a little tricky to really make, you know, figure out when when to really stop an ep you know, stop an episode and start up another one. But I will do my best. So now, let's go see what's inside. Hmm. <laughs> seems to be the ruckus. Oh my, your face. The face of the curse. It's an undead. An undead has come to play. <laughs> they all like sages. All the ones like you. You spoke to that kind old dear. Didn't you? <laughs> You're finished. You'll go hollow. Yes, you will become one of them. Well, that's encouraging. Hollows prey upon men. Feast upon their souls. This is the fate of the curse. <laughs> what is your name? Why, that is a great question. You know, I was thinking of going with the name Sir Dies a lot, but I decided, nah, we're gonna go with a different name. Because. This guy, like I've done with every Souls game so far, hopefully I've got enough uh, letters for this, is going to be my Platinum character. So, we'll call him Platinum Noob. Boop. Oh cool, I can use this as a full name. And this will be, I am Platinum Noob. Okay. I am very sure this is my name for this particular chosen undead. <laughs> At least you know your own name. Here's your reward for sharing. Oh, I get a treat. Kind of like a puppy right now. It's a human effigy. Whoa. Take a closer look. Who do you think it's supposed to be? Think back. Deep into your past. 
Yes, it's an effigy of you. Whoa, trippy. Ooh, all right, personalization time. Okay. Alright, fine tune face. Create face. Create body. Determine class and gift. Okay, let's just start with the basics here. Class. Warrior. Battle scarred warrior. High strength. Dexterity. Skilled with weapons. The knight. Traveling knight. High HP and adaptability. Tough to take down. Oh, wait, there are the stats down here. Oh, gosh, and I do not remember. Oh, Thank you so much for the select button and telling me health because I and, and information because I had forgotten what all the little images meant, what all these little icons were. Figure an attribute that determines HP, endurance for stamina, vitality, and an, an attribute that determines your maximum equipment load. Attunement, attribute governing number of spells that can be attuned. Also, in this game, boosts spellcasting speed. Faith, attribute required for miracles. Boosts lightning defense and proficiency in miracles. Intelligence, attribute required for sorceries. Boosts magic, defense, and proficiency in sorceries. Adaptability. Raises various attributes to ensure one's survival. Boosts agility and various resistances. Dexterity. Attribute required to wield weapons requiring finesse. Also boosts attack. And strength. Attribute required to wield holy crap. In the closed beta, they had agility and... Well, actually, I think resistance. But in, in Dark Souls 2, they were like, hey, so your armor is actually going to scale off your resistance. Whoa, so they... Wait. So they actually... They made agility even more broken than it was in the closed beta test by now pairing it with your resistances. Wow. That's... Huh. Well, um... I guess my, well, this being the platinum guy, I can kind of start wherever I'm looking to start. Um, but I probably, wow, swordsman. Ooh, the dual wielding kind of guy. Finely skilled swordsman. Fights gracefully with strong weapons in both hands. Yeah, I mean, since this is, this is the platinum guy, I guess it's just kind of whichever I'd rather start. <laughs> what is that on his head? The bandit. A merciless outlaw. High dexterity. Skilled with bows. Fights well at various ranges. And wears a colander on his head. <laughs> wow. The cleric. Cleric on pilgrimage. High faith and miracles guide the way. Hey look. I'm holding a candelabra as my... Uh, my talisman. Sorcerer. Oh, actually, that's kind of just a cool looking set. I like that coat. Knowledgeable sorcerer. Casts sorceries with high intelligence and attunement. Yeah, that's something else, too. That attunement now is what increases your uh, spell casting speed. That is no longer dexterity. Kind of a nifty way of doing it. So that if you do go, you know, if you do want to be a caster, you don't have to put points into dexterity to cast your spells quickly. You just keep leveling up your attunement. Explorer. Is that a monocle? Huh. And it has a ring. Well-traveled explorer. Not terribly powerful, but has many items. Pretty high adaptability, though. Look at that. That's a 12. <laughs> and the deprived 
Unclothed, origin unknown. Unclothed. Wow. Can't believe I just said it that way. Anyways, has nothing to fight with except life affirming flesh. Huh. Well, since this is my first time here, the knight has some cool armor. I won't lie, this is pretty cool looking stuff. Let's see. But the warrior has some high strength and a shield. I don't think, as I go through this, nobody else carries a shield. As this is my first time through, wow, I'm looking at these relative levels too. They're really high. But I guess that kind of makes sense because they are, there's more attributes. So you know what, we'll start as, we'll start as the guy with the shield because I'm going to need it. Uh, determine the gift. Life ring? This ring of old slightly increases HP. That's kind of cool. F human effigy. A familiar looking effigy. Returns the hollowed to life. Healing wares. Wow. Various items used to cure poison and restore HP. Essential for anyone traveling Drang, Drang Lake. Homeward bone. Oh wow. Returns you to the bonfire last rested at. Having one may ease your mind, but there are no easy journeys. Ooh. A seed of a tree of giants. A seed grown from a tree of giants. Inedible. That still sounds fun. Bonfire aesthetic. Toss into a bonfire to raise the strength of nearby foes. Huh. That's an interesting item. And a petrified something. Huh. Also known as a pendant. <laughs> or at least kind of on the same idea. Um, A simple petrified lump. It may be of some use someday. Huh. You know, I went warrior, so I won't go with a life ring. I want to go with a petrified something because that just sounds nifty. Um, I don't want to... I want to... Uh, oh, back. Okay. I was kind of like, I don't want to finalize yet. Let's see. Gender. Yep. I shall stay as male. Um, build. Well, looks like a little skinny. Really skinny. A little stocky. Lower, uh, bigger lower body, bigger upper body, just sizable in general. So that's probably the average. There's a little bit thin, super thin. And then this, I don't know what this is. Can't really tell. Hmm. I don't know, I like that one. Physique! Ooh, we can go with kind of, you know, athletic or super ripped jacked. Well, let's see. This is going to be the platinum guy. So do I go like me, which is obviously super ripped and jacked. Obviously. If you miss the sarcasm, I, I need to get a better microphone. <laughs> um, Yeah, he'll be super ripped jacked because, uh, you know... He's going to be the platinum guy. He's going to be able to do everything. Select basic face shape. Select hairstyle. Hair color. Eyebrow shape. Color. Eye color. Beards. Beard color. Tattoo. Tattoo color. Oh, oh sets tattoo opacity. It's kind of thinking the opacity of my face. Do I get to look like a ghost? Well, this is kind of surprising. Only four. Ooh. That's kind of cool. Huh. Well, 
okay. Let's go this way. Why not? Ooh, okay. Haha, <laughs> faux hawk. Fantastic. Not bad. What's this one? Whoa. Dude, that looks freaking sweet. Whoa, look at the. Jeez, look at the hair color. Oh, nope, 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 nope. We are going. Oh, God. Wow. This is a. Uh, I wonder, can I go from here and then. Ah, very nifty. Yeah, that works. There we go. Deep navy blue. Well, can we, navy blue kind of doesn't. It's kind of redundant to say deep navy blue because navy blue is already a deep blue. Boy, this is a bit more in depth. Hmm. Whoa, there's some intense eyebrows. Look at that. Whoops. Nah. Nope, we're going with super intense eyebrows. And obviously... Obviously, they have to be this color. Whoops. They have to be that color. Let's give him green eyes. Let's go just a little bit darker. There we go. Beard. No way. Tattoo though. Hells. Wait. Where does it go? Oh man, I wonder if there's... Maybe you can access more as you go through the game. That looks kinda cool. Where did I put it though? That's what I'm concerned about. Where did my tattoo end up? <laughs> I did, okay, I did select a tattoo. Oh, it's on my, okay, it's on my face. Okay, well, somebody with a bit darker skin, a lighter colored tattoo would be a little bit better. We'll turn it down just a little bit, just a little bit. There we go. Awesome. Now what is in the advanced settings? Fine tune overall balance, fine tune overall balance 2, fine tune face shape, fine tune face shape, eyebrows, eyes, oh my gosh. What, whoa, wait, what can I fine tune with the, with the uh, tattoo here? Ooh, position. Left, right. Where does this put it? Uh, I think I put it in the back of my head. Yep. Okay, yeah, I guess it does. Wait, where is it? Huh. Oh, damn. I actually kind of like this idea because now I want to make it. Whoa. The tattoo itself may need to change just because. Oh, nope, that, that does not work. This could work.
Okay, I've fallen outside the... I've gone a little bit crazy with this one. That one's... that's just not working. Hmm. That is kind of cool, though. Oh, jeez, I forget. Can't keep hitting circle. I need to actually keep hitting... You know, X. That's actually that's kind of nifty. Okay. Um, how's that? Wait, is it dark? They'll actually make it. Oh wow! Nope, 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 nope. I'm going the right way. That's cool. I don't want it to be glaring. Okay, that was fun. Overall. Whoa. Age. Interesting. Well, you know what? Because... Huh. Hormones. Wow. Form emphasis. Well, obviously, because he's the platinum. He's the platinum noob. He's going to be strong. Whoa. Whoa. Nifty. Huh. Look at all this. Wow. Very, very cool. Oop. No, maybe not. Maybe we'll back off on that. Wow. Yeah, they they definitely upped the uh, customization here. Holy cow. Laugh lines? No way. Yeah, we're going with dark laugh lines, because this guy's a jolly fellow. Jeez, that this is this is awesome. Sets the hair, sets the hair color, cheek color. No, I like them what as they are now. Whoa. Wow. Look at all this. Huh. Uh, let's let's narrow it just a little bit. Ratio of nose to forehead. Huh. We'll go a little bit with a bigger nose. Facial width. We'll narrow that just a scotch. Facial roundness. Yeah, let's go sharp. There we go. Facial parts sets the vertical spacing of face parts. Wow. What happens if I go super narrow? This is just for experiment two. Oh boy. Nope, nope, nope. Determines the placement of face parts. Go all the way up. Huh. Sets the horizontal spacing. Sets the width of the middle of the brow. Whoa. All the way to narrow. What's that do? Ooh, whoa, geez. Okay. Shape two. Whoa. Cheekbone height. Cheekbone depth, cheekbone spread, cheek fullness, cheeks! Oh wow, you can even set the cheek shape. Chin, tip, depth, jaw breadth, and chin. And yes, I have given my dude dreadlocks. Yes. I don't even know. 
You know what? I love a man with some high cheekbones. Let's do that. What is deep cheeks? What's that do? Oh wow. That's what happens. Okay. Yeah, they don't need to be That works. Ah, uh, so it's a spread of cheekbones. I actually kinda like that. Cheek fullness. Convex or con oh man, now I'm trying to remember which direction goes which. So you know what? I'll just set one all the way. Whoops, not that way. Well I suppose a little bit, just not to such an extreme. Okay, you know what? Screw that. <laughs> wow, thicker, thin cheeks. Very interesting. Let's go with some thicker. Yeah, there we go. Chin tip. Probably gotta go this way to see what's happening now. Yep, okay. Let's go with a little bit deeper. Uh, I think. There we go. Breadth of the jaw. Yeah, let's go. There we go. And the height. Perfect. Making all these micro adjustments. Hey, you can never be too careful when you are customizing your character. <laughs> uh, let's see. Eyebrows. Oh my gosh. Shape. Which is probably okay. That's just that. Height. Inner. Sets the shape of the inner edge. Sets the shape of the outer edge. Color. We're all cool with the color. Height of the glabella. Um, I don't know. Let's go this way. Ooh. Oh, I see what we're kind of messing around with. I think I'm going to just do that. And then bring them down just a little. There. Hmm, screw it. Width. Brow. Height. Oh, that's the, I think that's the wrong direction. Let's see what happens if I do this. Whoa. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to mess with those. That's stuff that I just clearly don't understand. <laughs> uh, let's see, eye size. This is something that's kind of bothering me. Just a little bit. There we go. Eye spacing. Eye position. There, oh, there we go. Much better now. Set the protrusion. Uh, it's okay. I actually kind of like that. It's, a, it's an impressive uh, profile. What else? Oh, wow. Look at that. Eye socket color. Wow. Brightness of my eyelids. Color for my eyelids. Eyeliner and eyeshadow. Holy jeez. Well, I'm not going to mess with those. Mm, let's see. Nose ridge color. No. Sets the protrusion of the upper nose ridge. Ooh. Let's get him an aquiline. Hmm. That's not exactly doing what I thought it would. Strange. I want to give him an aquiline nose, but I apparently don't know how to do that. Hmm, sets the protrusion of the nose. What will this do? Ooh! Just gives you a giant nose. I'm out of my depth. Yeah, okay, we're 
Well, there we. Oh, wow. Nostril angle. Nostril size. Nostril width. So let's go just there. Move that just a tick. Sets the height of the nose. No, I like where it is. Determines the position of the nose. Eh, actually, I kind of like where it is too. At this point. <sighs> Mouth. Lip shape. Lip protrusion. Occlusion. Whoa. Hang on, I can't see anything with just one tick on this. What's what's this do? Whoa. Does that? Okay. Let's reset. There we go. Fullness of the lips. Hmm. There we go. Lips. So what? Okay. What in the world? Okay. Wait. I'm very confused about what fullness, size, and thickness are all talking about here. But I guess that's because I'm a bit stupid on such things. I can see what they're doing, but hmm. That seems to make sense. Um, protrusion. Just a little bit pouty. Yeah. <laughs> We're going full duck face. No, I'm kidding. That still didn't kind of look the way I thought it was going to. Hmm. What's this do then? Huh. No. I like the neutral position. Mouth too. Ooh, mouth expression. Glum. Because he is a cursed undead. Hmm. I guess I was expecting more of a like hard frown right there. But we'll make him a little glum because he's a cursed undead. Come on. How happy can you really be? Though I suppose you could be like Grave Robber Blige and be really cheerful. Mouth slant. Let's see what this kind of does. Ah, nope. Okay. Mouth protrusion. What is full convex? No. That's cool. Position of the mouth. Nah, I like it. From mouth to chin. That works. Width of the mouth. That works. Jaw. Ooh. Let's give him a strong jaw. Though, to be fair, Platinum Noob kind of already has a pretty strong jaw. Protrusion of the chin. Let's go. Let's go super large and see what happens. Whoa. That's a hell of a chin. That's like Jay Leno chin right there. Let's let's dial that back a bit. That works. Um height of the jaw. If I go super high, where's that put me? Ooh, not where I wanna go, not where I wanna go. Um uh, more Jay Leno. Nope, nope, nope. Spread of the jaw, adjust the outline. Ooh, let's go thick. What's that do? Ooh, okay, we're going a little uh, Schwarzenegger with that. Let's get, let's dial that in a little bit. That works. Okay, beard, no beard, tattoo, none. I think, I think we are finally ready. And here we have Platinum Noob. 